Hi guys, I'm Rex. Hi, hi guys, I'm Zachary. To give you guys an end review of episode episode two. Um, I, I uh, Mary. Uh, I'll say. <laughs> let me check. Hold on a second, here you guys. Okay, Let's see here for a second here. Okay, uh, more than a merry couple, but not lovers. Okay, I'm just gonna call this not lovers. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna call uh, not lovers. Okay, so basically the same as of not lovers. So based on this more than merry and not lovers, whatever you wanna say. Episode two, but there's some things. There's some things I. I do want to, I do want to bring up and you know and you know and stuff you know now I know you guys have seen rent a, a rent a girlfriend okay you guys know you have seen rent a girlfriend we all have seen rent a girlfriend some people say it's not the best anime that the world really was even though that's basically what it feels basically what it feels to me and stuff like that but you have like uh Kizuku um basically you have him you know but ever everybody know what happened to him everybody know why that. You know, mommy broke up with him and stuff like that, and he was very upset and stuff like that. Remember, just bringing in the manga also as well too, because because like the situation that he was going through and stuff like that, and he doesn't like to be in a fake relationship. He doesn't like that and stuff like that because I think that he kind of knows about what what was really going on. The reason why I'm bringing this is bringing this up is that it's kind of hard to tell. Like it's kind of like hard to tell. Like you could tell the main female protagonist, the the main male protagonist of himself, I mean, Jor Jor Jorkun is basically he's he's deeply he's deeply in love with the girl with the red hair. I can't remember. I think her name is Sakura. So I'm just yeah I'm just gonna call her Sakura. So that's what that's what I'm just gonna call her. But basically Sakura is just, just basically I believe that she does have 100% legit feelings for the MC character. There's no doubt. No, there's no doubt to that. And that's just basically what it basically what it seemed to me. I could have saw I could have saw or something like that. Basically, to be honest with you. Because I really don't think this is not really actually direct kiss. The problem that I see here is that we're the basically you know the girl the, the basically who he likes stuff like that. I guess she kind of just kind of leaned down and she probably kissed him. I don't know if she did or not, or maybe she didn't or or anything like that. But there's a problem with that, and the reason why the reason why I'm, I'm reason why I'm just saying this right now because I brought her. I really want her. To interact with the main male characters, and you know, instead of, instead of just like being all cute and stuff like that, I really want to see a serious moment between between them two. You know, like talk about different things and stuff like that, and and also just by not giving a fake kiss because he's sleeping, but just giving him a real actual kiss because it's basically it's a symbol of love. That's what basically what it feels to me because I would not been okay. I would have not been okay about. Like yeah, maybe it's okay for her to kiss him and it's when he's sleeping, but it's just it just doesn't really show a sign of love to me. That's just basically what it seems to be from what it basically seems to me. It just it just it's just kind of like it's just kind of like you know the Sleeping Beauty. You know the Sleeping Beauty is under a spell. She was under that spell. She didn't die or anything like that. Or anything like that. But that means she was like laying in the coffin and you know and stuff. You know you basically have some of these people and you also have like you know the fairy godmothers. You know. You, we probably know who they are because they were basically helping the princess, you know, basically what her, you know, uh, of her birth and stuff like that, and and stuff like that. And you basically have this witch and stuff like that. She cursed the the princess because she was she was supposed to get married at, at some kind of certain time. But even though she didn't get married, then that means that, that means she would die. That means she would die and stuff like that. I do understand the the Sleeping Beauty is basically just shows a representations between the princess and the prince and stuff like that. Because the only way she can only live, she has to get a direct kiss from from the prince. Because is there's there's I'm not saying there's not not the hope, but the, it's just basically to me that what it feels to me. That's basically what it it feels to me. And basically what I see here is that that what he has to do his job means he has to wrestle not wrestle he has to rescue uh, the damsel in distress. That's basically what it basically seems to me is because this is his destiny, and especially as the prince for for himself that. I really, I really do think that he's the, he's the one who is destined to have, destined to have the princess for his bride, because it was recorded by destiny for, for him and for the princess to basically get married, and basically she would just basically think like, oh yeah, I got kissed, I got kissed by a prince. Now maybe I should go ahead and get married and stuff like that. We all know about that kind of story, story, story tells stuff like that. But the reason why I'm bringing that up, because because that's just what it kind of feels to me, basically. Looking at this episode one, like, did she really make an indirect kiss? To be honest with you, I don't think she did because she, I don't just, just don't think she really actually did. But I understand the reference between 
the difference between this anime and also Sleeping Beauty. I do understand they have to own different similarities, but I like I said before, I'm just not okay with with her Sakura just basically kisses the MC character because because he's sleeping. Because he's sleeping. This is not the little Sleeping Beauty montage you're basically going on, you know, basically in this anime. But even though I'm just basically I'm just saying, some people may disagree with me on that, some people may not. That's just that, that's just basically where I just I just generally do think and stuff like that. Now I'm not trying to be creepy or anything like that, but I'm just I'm just saying that's just basically the reference that's why I kind of reference the Sleeping Beauty compared to this anime because they show their different ideals. That's basically what it seems that's basically what it it, it feels it, what it feels to me. Now I definitely do want to talk about the, the main few more tagus. I can't remember her name. I think her name is uh, uh, Wadama, Wadama, Wadama or something like that. I, I don't know. I don't know. The thing about her is that I feel like I feel like she's doing this all for a fake relationship. And we all know that we all know that. Okay. Because I mean because she's only looking for looking out for herself. Even though the main male characters she um they already know. They already know. But the question is but the question is are they really are acting like an actual married couple because if they really are not, if they if they really are not, then there's like a very good possibility they could fail and then they probably could get booted out to school because even though she did tell the MC character just basically just tell them like if we don't do any of this, if we don't get any points or anything like that, guess what? It's over. That means we get kicked out of school. We're not gonna be able to go to school ever again. And I mean, generally, just like I said, just like I said about what uh, based on my last episode review because. Where, where I basically I just said about about love and lies. Love and lies is kind of like this lottery. It's kind of it's kind of like this this lottery game. You're basically you're basically you basically are being selected to get married by by what the government wants you to get married to. Because the problem is is that what I see in love and lies is that what really first me me the most is that, is that because it was kind of messed up. It was kind of messed up that I really saw. That that the main little character he was gonna marry his his girl of his dreams, but however, but however, someone else popped right in and just basically like we can't be doing this and stuff like that. We can't, we can't. But they have to act like act like their boyfriend girlfriend, and they have to get married. And that's and sometimes some of those little things work out. Sometimes they do. I'm not gonna have no government just just shove me up to a woman and just say like I don't know her or anything like that or anything like that. Or anything like that because I don't know her. She doesn't know me because I don't know. I don't know if she loves me or if I love her. You know that's basically what it feels to me. But it also feels to me basically just this anime, just based on what I'm seeing here, is just by just trying to know each other and trying to, you know, it's just basically just get it, just just basically just get along. But they still continue wanting to do this fake relationship, basically with basically with this. I don't know why does the school wanted to do this in the first place. I don't know why. It just it just kind of frustrates because it really actually is. It just tells me that, like I said, based with the love of my eyes, the government is forcing them to get married with someone because if they don't get married and, and it's and it's all over, guess what? They go to jail. I'm not joking. They can go to jail for that. They can go to jail for that. I'm serious. Watch the enemy love of life. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So that's basically what it basically seems to me. But I really hope that our society does not go down that road. It may go down for down that road for some other Different different countries. You have like other different countries. You know, basically in America, that you basically you have like like let's say let's say I have a daughter. Okay, I'm a rich guy. Okay, I'm rich. Okay, I want my daughter. I want my daughter to marry any guy she wants it. But however, I want her to marry. I want her to marry a guy who has investments for 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 himself and stuff like that. But even if but even though even though I will basically just tell her you are going to marry this guy whether you don't like it or not. That will tell me. That's what they tell me is that I am forcing my daughter to marry some guy. Marry some guy. It's just not. It's just. It's just that it's not fit for me in my own eyes and stuff like that. But however, is that if I want to say, if I want to say, yeah, you could date any guy you want. Any guy you want it doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't really matter to me. You could do whatever, you, whatever you want, and you know, just lay the foundations and stuff like that. You know that's just that's just basically what I think. But even though even though I definitely do, I mean, if I were to get married, somebody, I would never do something like that, never, because I would just basically just give my daughter just basically like, just I would just basically just say like, you know, that's her choice. I'm not gonna stop her. I'm not gonna force her to, to marry a guy, marry a guy she doesn't, or I mean, marry a guy that that she may know or she fall in love with. I don't I don't know. I mean, I mean, she has her own free will. I have my own free will. Okay, you know because. 
That's basically it. But even though, even though I'm just basically just been hypothetical, that's all I'm just basically I'm just saying. But that's just basically what it basically feels to me. I thought some people would definitely will try to understand basically what I'm saying here. It's just basically it just basically to me that you have these type of different genres is basically just really actually really actually basically just really actually going on and stuff. And that's just basically, that's just basically is it seems to me that's basically what I definitely do think to some extent. I don't want people to think that this anime that's I mean, it's not just for me, but it's just basically to me is that for where I see that this anime, just like I said, but basically the whole one love lives, if if they don't get along and they don't want to be with each other, guess what? They're going to jail. Yeah. I mean that I mean that could happen in real life. That can really could happen in real life. Some people may not know, some people may not. So <laughs> that I mean I know it sounds crazy. I know it is, but it's just based. That's just based on what it feels to me. But I mean, just just based on what this image, this whole fake relationship about, you know, it's just like, you know, relationship with a guy. You know, you're you're mar you're not actually married, but act like you're married and stuff like that. And I don't know how this is going to work. I really don't know how because this is a very tricky situation. Based on what I think, based on what I think, like, is she really actually? I mean, because I mean, she's being serious about this. She's being serious. She wants to pass and she wants to earn points. But it just seems to me the main character, he doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what it feels like to have a relationship. Because what if they what if she were to get pregnant? Okay, that's a whole different that's a whole nother story. Because if she were if she were to get pregnant and then she has a baby, then that could really complicate things really a lot. Because she may not know how to take care of her child. And the and the main MC character, he may not know how to carry uh, uh how to care for a child too. Because Basically, my say, I don't even know how to take care of kids. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there, and it's something you know. I just don't want people to get the wrong way or anything like that. But even though, even though I'm just basically, even though I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, because I don't have that experience. I help my sisters along you know, by by taking care of the kids with that. Sometimes, sometimes I babysit them. Some, sometimes I babysit them. Babysit them. Sometimes I really don't. Sometimes I just try to be a good uncle or something. But even though I'm just, I'm just basically, you know, I'm just saying. But it's just. I, I don't know really a whole lot. I just really don't know. I just know that my my sisters just basically just tell me just take care of it. Even though I do have nieces and I do got a nephew, and you know I you know they've been they've been around for quite some time in my life. Even though I'm grateful for it and you know and stuff, but yeah. So yeah, that's all I'm just gonna say for right now. Um, I like I said, I don't want people to think get the wrong idea about what what I'm what I'm saying here. I'm not trying to be creepy or anything like that. I'm just being hypothetical and I'm just basically I'm just saying. That's just what that's just what what I see what's going on here. So I hope you guys definitely do understand that. So yeah, anyways, um, this, anyways, anyways, I'll see you guys there. Take care. I hope you just one day. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Uh, please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. And please hit the notification bell as well too. So let me know you guys watch my. Just let me know you guys watch my videos. And please leave a like on my video. And please yeah, and please give me a thumbs up. And please leave your comments below. Anyways, I love you guys. Take care. I hope you get one day. Take care. God bless. Remember, just love it. I love you guys. Please take and remember, stay blessed. Love you guys. Take care.